Well, um, you see a lot more cyber insurance out there. There's companies gotten got, gotten into the business. And I think the truth is it, it has had a, uh, I think it can have a detrimental effect in that criminals know that the companies are going to pay because they're, they're, they're insured and they're just going to pay to get back up and running. Um, so as an, as a would be insurer of a company, I'd want to make sure that there's methods in place to, so they can recover without having to pay a ransom. I mean, it's just mm -hmm. like, you know, why would you insure a house against a fire? If it's got, you know, problems with electrical circuits and, you know, you're going to, it doesn't have smoke yeah. detectors. It doesn't have fire extinguishers, right? So it's the same thing that applies. Uh, insurance companies have gotten into this business because it's a hot business and maybe they're not doing the things they need to do uh, to make sure that their companies are safe, you know, and, and that relates to the rates they'll charge too, you know, I mean, you're going to charge someone lower rates if they have smoke detectors in their house than if they don't. Why not do the same thing with cyber?